There's always cat hair, like on my shirts in every single review that I do, so... Yeah. A look at the life of the astronaut Neil Armstrong and the legendary space mission that led him to become the first man to walk on the moon on the 20th of July 1969. What a movie! Now the opening of this film is one of the strongest I've seen from a film in quite a while and what it does is it sets the feel of the movie. And what I mean by this is the way that it's shot is less in its scope and more just puts you in the seat of this monumental experience that uh, Damien Chazelle has created for you. Now you feel the triumphs but you really 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 feel the failures of the space race but it's also a really deeply personal film about Neil Armstrong. Technically this film is breathtaking. It's got this grit due to the scope 70mm which really highlights the gorgeous cinematography of the spacewalk scenes. Now I don't know if it was the colour grading but I also appreciated the washed out look and it's got this like really like increased grain due to the creamy as fuck lenses that they use during filming. The score I've noticed has been getting quite a bit of recognition and as much as I love Justin Hurwitz, uh, if I'm being frank, the score was barely used during the film with the exception of like chiming in to really highlight some magnificence of some really beautiful scenes. Now the Gosling, now he puts in this really really solid performance but the problem is that Armstrong was known for being a really deeply personal, really unemotional man that outside of a few key emotional scenes, it's not the showiest of performances. Personally, I loved it and it's very focused and very nuanced, but I can completely understand why some people have a few issues with it. Claire Foy gives an amazing performance as Janet, Armstrong's wife, and she blew me the fuck away. Now, I haven't watched The Crown, but I watched Unsane, and although I had a few issues with that film, my takeaway was that I need to see as much from her as I can, and it's just been completely highlighted here. She was amazing, and she fully deserves a nomination for Best Supporting Actress. Now, the supporting cast includes Kyle Chandler, Pablo Schreiber, uh, Corey Stoll, uh, Jason Clark. There's, there's, there's heaps of others, but outside of Clark, they were very much in the background, as it really is to its core for in Gosling's film. Now, before I finish this review up, I got to address this non-issue of the flag controversy. It is such a non-issue. Like, you see a wide shot of the flag on the lunar surface, but even if it was added in post, if they did shoot a scene of him planting a flag, it would have taken away from the overall theme of the movie, which is a human achievement, not an American achievement. Now, I'm not saying this film is unpatriotic, but there's an emotional core to the film that would have just completely been detracted from it if there was a flag planting scene there. Honestly, it's, it's nothing and people just need to stop being outraged for the sake of being outraged. Just calm the fuck down. I honestly cannot wait to see what Damien Chazelle tackles next now that he's traded art for science, but also keeping up with this theme of obsession. Now in such a short time, he's planted himself to be a masterful director, and I think this will be incredibly high on most people's best of 2018 list. Now I can't wait to buy the 4K Blu-ray when it comes out, but I'll be taking a dip in my wallet to see this a few times on IMAX when it opens, Australia-wide on October 11th, and I highly, highly recommend you do the same. Anyway, thank you so much for checking out my review of First Man. Please don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, and let me know your thoughts of the film down below. And of course, if you like this review and want to see more, please click share to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.